And the Ashtanga Yoga sequence is a posture called Garga Pindasana. It's kind of a funny movement where you take the lotus position and round in a circle, and a lot of people fall off to the side. So if you're learning how to round and roll in Garga Pindasana, it's important that the movement comes from the steering wheel of your pelvis. Part of the reason why we catch the pelvic floor and draw in the low belly is so that we can steer the pelvis around in a nice solid circle of this posture. So the first step is to take a nice lotus position. If you haven't got a good lotus position, you can check my video on how to do Padmasana position or lotus position. If you have a good lotus position but it's tight, the knees are tight, you're going to reach around, hold on to your hands like this, or hold on to your wrist. Whatever is comfortable for you, you don't want to stress your knees. If your lowest position is relatively loose and you feel like you've got more to give, you can reach all the way through and come into a full Garga Pindasana. Now, I've set myself up in a little bit of a back position, so I'm going to have to turn over. And this is a way you can kind of, you know, your hands aren't free, so you're a little stuck in the posture. Now, a lot of people, when they start to roll, they pump their arms. But Guruji said we should touch our head completely. You can only do the roll if it comes from the core of the body. So, holding on here, exhale, roll back, inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll back, inhale, roll up. Now, you can do that up and down in the same position two, three times. If that went really well for you, you can go down along the right side of the spine, up along the left side of the spine to turn in a circle. So, exhale, back, inhale, left. And exhale, right, inhale, left. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Steering with the pelvis, not the arms. Steering with the pelvis. When you get all the way back to the front, you can take the hands down and you're ready to move into the posture called Kukukasana. If, and this is the biggest posture problem in this, if when you're rolling, you fall off to the side, it's not over. You don't need to just stay there like you did a doll or something. You can use the strength of your pelvis, bring yourself back to the center, touch your head, generate momentum with the pelvis, and start to round and turn again. Okay, so never give up. If you need, you know, 10 breaths, 50 breaths to go all the way around that spine, just take your time, breathe, use the core of the body, and you'll get all the way around.